a very pleasant good day my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ well once again this is your Christian brother Eric Brooks I'm speaking to you all from his beloved country the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean and the West Indies in the month of January 2023 a happy new year to mankind and to the human family everywhere boys and girls all over the world throughout the international community throughout the international landscape i say welcome well this today sunday the first day of the week in the month of january 2023 i want to address i want to address something or speak about something that is of public importance and of course national importance and that national that thing that is of national importance is the state of israel the jewish state the arab world and hamas and hezbollah and the state of iran and of course the jews because we see that hezbollah The leadership of Hezbollah, the leader of Hezbollah. They say they have a hundred thousand fighters. I think they say they have a hundred thousand bombs. And they are well equipped, equip and repair Hezbollah fighters and repair to fight a war with Israel. We don't know when that war will start. And we know that if Hezbollah any war start with Hezbollah and the state of Israel, we know there will be bloodshed on both sides. Of course we know at the end result Israel will come out the victory. We'll get the victory. But the loss of life will be very heavy on both sides, ladies and gentlemen. On the Jewish side and Hezbollah side. And of course the civilian population will suffer more in the war. Both on the Jewish side and on the on Hezbollah side in southern Baka Valley of Lebanon. <coughs> but I want to see that the leadership and the executive of the leadership of the leader of Hezbollah and also to the leadership of the state of Israel and to Hamas and to the Palestinian boys and girls and to the leadership of the executive, the president of PLO, Haba Hamas, Habas. I don't know if he's still the president of PLO, and his executive, his government. And this also applied to the Arab League, and to all the rest of the Arab nations. People in all these Arab nations who will see this video on the internet. That in spite of war that is taking place in Israel between Hamas and the conflict that Israel have in the past with Hezbollah and Hezbollah with Israel, and the conflict that many people predict that will happen in the future between Hezbollah and Israel, a war will start with them again. Because we know Israel, I mean Hezbollah, Iran is backing them, and Syria. Because Hezbollah send fighters in Syria to fight along the the is the the Syrian army against the other groups who was backed by America to overthrow Assad that Assad is in power and he have defeated all these opposition groups who was backed by America but they still have one or two groups who still fighting against them and we know the Russians back Assad supplying with tanks and all these things and weapons so that's why Assad have eventually win the war okay having said that ladies and gentlemen but all what I'm talking about here is limited knowledge what I have there's more to the conflict that I I do not know but all these news is all these information is on the internet and you all could follow it up I just want to say that the conflict that is taking place there in Israel and Hamas and Hezbollah. <laughs>
He loved Hezbollah and he loved Hamas and he loved the PLO. As a matter of fact, God loved all nations, all mankind, because he made all nations of one blood to dwell upon the earth. He had made all nations of one blood to dwell upon the earth. So the, so, so, the, so the blood that is running in Hezbollah and all the Arab nations is, is the same blood the Jewish people have. The, blood, the, the Jews. The blood of the of, of the Jews is not different to the blood of Hamas and Hezbollah and the, and the and the people from Iran and Syria, because God made one nation of one blood. Because it's one human family God placed upon the earth, and He didn't place no super race upon this earth. And the Jews are not superior to Hamas, either Hezbollah. And the Jews are not superior. To any other race and any other race or tribes of people is not superior to the Jews all human beings God made all mankind of one blood to dwell upon the earth as written in the New Testament book of Acts now this is the biblical spinner that I'm putting on what is taking place in Israel this is the biblical spinner on what I'm putting what I'm putting explaining what is taking place in Israel I'm teaching you all, ladies and gentlemen, that in spite of what is happening in Israel between the leader of Hezbollah, the leader of Hamas, the leader of the PLO, and the leader of the Arab League, and all the Arab leaders, all of them did not create themselves, and all of them did not bring themselves into existence. It's God who created mankind and placed mankind upon this earth, starting off with Adam and Eve. So who is the highest in all? The human beings on the earth? No, the highest on, in all is the one who is in heaven, which is God the Father and Jesus Christ. But he's an invisible spirit being. And he created human being flesh and blood. Because when he created the first man was Adam and Eve. And he did not create Adam and Eve angels. Supernatural beings. Spirit being. He created us flesh and being. And we have sex. Adam and Eve had sex. And procreate the human family and human beings that have sex to bring forth animals as the animals on. Mm -hmm. But who is the one that creates mankind, ladies and gentlemen, and the universe and the angels is God. So God is the highest in all. And God is watching on the God sitting in heaven and he's watching all what is taking place on the earth, the fighting that is taking place with Israel and Hezbollah and PLO. He's watching all that conflict. And I'm saying to you, the leader of Hezbollah and Hamas and PLO and the Arab League and all the leaders from the individual Arab countries, God is in charge. And Jesus Christ is coming back to the earth very soon to put all the conflict that you all are engaging to an end. So leader of Hezbollah, leader of the PLO, leader of the Arab League and leader of Israel, Jesus Christ is coming back. He's the savior of the world because he is God himself. And he's coming back to stop all the wars that you all are engaging not upon the earth. And you all have engaged in the past. You all don't believe that? Well, Benjamin Nathan, and I see that you are quoting scripture. So I know you are Jew and I know you believe in Jesus Christ. You accept that. Now, the leader of Hamas, I mean leader of Hamas, you are Muslim and whether you reject the Messiah, the Jewish Messiah, and you believe in Allah, and you say that Jesus Christ is not Allah, and Allah is not Jesus Christ, the point is there is one true God, so whether there is a misunderstanding on your part, the true God still exists, and he is coming to stop all wars that you engage in, in. leader of Hezbollah, to the leader of the PLO, Hamas, your former general and leader, PLO Arafat, is not there. <laughs> he has died. You have taken over and others in the past. You are currently in charge. But at the same time, God is coming to put stop to all the wars that you will 
statue of that PLO have engaged in Israel in the past, or they might engage in Israel in the future. And this applies to Hamas and Iran, who say debt to Israel and debt to America, and call America the great Satan. I want to eliminate all the Jews from of the earth, Iran. Jesus Christ is coming to put a stop to that, to all the wars that you all want to engage and destroy one another. Iran, you want to wipe out the state, the Jewish people. Jesus Christ is coming to put a stop to that. Hamas, you want to wipe out the Jewish people. Jesus Christ is coming to put a stop to that. Why? Because the seed of David, the Jewish people, abides forever. And when Jesus Christ is coming, he's coming with all the like holy angels, whether you all believe in angels or not. Yes, in the Muslim faith, they believe in the angels. They call them jinns. And they talk about the bad jinns and the good jinns. In any case, but God creates angels. You see, that's a Muslim name for the, for the angels, jinns. But the Bible don't call them jinns. We call them angels. And God creates angels. Of course, he creates all of them good. And he did not create good angels and bad angels. No, no, no. God created all the angels good because he's supreme good. So let us get that facts crystally clear as I keep on teaching you all and pointing you all to something that you all, something greater for you all to understand and comprehend. <clears throat> and what I'm pointing you all to that greater thing that you all need to understand and comprehend is who well, is who? God himself. <clears throat> and why is I'm pointing you all to that greater thing for you all to understand and comprehend? I'm also pointing myself to that said greater thing to comprehend and understand because I myself are not exempt from that because I'm a human being just as all here. So I'm, I'm pointing you all and also myself to the Holy One of Israel, the Creator God Himself. He's the greatest in all. He's the Supreme One. There's none greater than He. So I'm not exempt from that. I'm the same boat, the boat of mankind. I am in uh, the boat of humanity, the boat of the human family. I am in that boat because I is not no angels and not no spirit being. In other words, when God created Michael, Gabriel, and Lucifer, He didn't create me with them, and I left them at the human form on the earth. No, I don't know angels. So let me get that crystal clear. As I continue this teaching, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> I want to make myself fatically clear to everyone across the board. Ladies and gentlemen, so when Jesus Christ comes, he's coming to put a stop to all the war that is taking place on the earth between Israel, Hamas, Hezbollah, and the PLO. And all the other armed conflicts that take place all over the world, whether it be in South America, Africa, Ethiopia, Botswana, Tanzania, all them civil war, he's coming to put a stop to all that. And Jesus Christ will usher in peace to the whole world and teach mankind to live in peace and love with one another. Why? Because love is the fulfillment of the law. War is not the fulfillment of the law. Love is the fulfillment of the law. And in the pieces of John, God is love and love is of God. And God is coming to teach mankind love. So all mankind will live in peace and love with one another. And all wars will come to an end. And all the weapons of destruction will come to an end. And mankind will live in love and peace with one another. As he intended to be when he first created mankind. Because Jesus Christ is a God of peace. It's true, he's called a God of war too. But that is used in a different context. <coughs> mm -hmm. All that I'm teaching you all is Bible. Yes, that's why I tell you how to put the Bible spin on that. So when Jesus Christ comes, he's coming to stop. Do you know, hey, to all my Jews, Jewish brothers and sisters throughout the Jewish diaspora, in the Jewish national community, Jews all over the world, you all believe what I'm telling you? Yes, Jesus Christ is coming to save the house of Judah, the Jews. And he's coming to stop all wars. So Jewish boys and girls, I could assure you all in the future, Israel will not be at war with Hamas, neither with Hezbollah, neither with the state of Iran, who want to wipe out the Jews. You all believe that? That is not no fantasy. 
this is the teaching of the scriptures, my Jewish brothers and sisters all over the world. And to all my brothers and sisters in Hamas and Hezbollah and the PLO and all the brothers and sisters in, the, in all the Arab nations, Jesus Christ is coming back to the earth because he's a God of mankind. He's a savior to put all conflict to an end and to bring peace to all mankind. And this is my message to the leader of Hezbollah, PLO, the Arab League and all the individual nation leaders in the Arab country. And the, the leaders of all the nations of the earth, the, the kings and the prince and the prime ministers and the emperors and the people all over the world. Do you all believe that? Well, this is the teaching of the scriptures. This is the teaching of the scriptures. You see, with all the wars that have taken place with Israel and PLO and all these things and Hamas, it's a lot of history, ladies and gentlemen. And I can't explain all that history. But all the wars that took place in the past with with, with Assar or Fat and Israel, that is a real history. And I can't give all that history, all that history between the Arab Israeli conflict in, in our time. I have only to go and do research and see where it starts from and show show the uh, study of all, all the Arab Israeli conflict and you see how much conflict took, took place up to this time. <coughs> But I just quote in a little part of it and explain it from the Bible how it will end. <laughs> you understand? How it will end. And Jesus Christ is coming to end all wars and bring peace to the world. God Himself. If all the spec, if all the believe, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want you all to get the wrong impression that God doesn't care for mankind. A lot of you all believe. That the Holy One of Israel, Jesus Christ and the Father, have abandoned mankind. And the lack of the angels is for mankind. But God the Father and Jesus Christ have abandoned mankind. They will let leave mankind. All the things the, the Holy One of Israel, God the Father and Jesus Christ have said, Oh, leave mankind, let them fight up the, with themselves. They will find their own solution and they will solve the whole problem. Uh, but the lack of the angels will say no. Uh, God the Father and Jesus Christ have abandoned mankind, but we're not doing like God the Father and Jesus Christ gives for mankind. It's not so. Am I trying to be funny? No, I'm trying to teach you all a principle. <coughs> the principle is this. <coughs> that God the Father and Jesus Christ and the lack of the angels, they are one. One in oneness. Mm -hmm. That's why they like all the angels is obeying God the Father and Jesus Christ. You understand? You understand? And that's why they like all the angels is not opposing the Holy One of Israel and God the Father and Jesus Christ because they, they, are, they are their creator. God the Father and Jesus Christ is the one who created the, the angels. They like all the and of course the rest of the angels to all the angels. Right. So God have abandoned mankind. And therefore, God, a lot of all believe also that God the Father and Jesus Christ is sitting in heaven and watching all the conflict upon the earth and he will never come to stop it. Mm -hmm. And both of them is having a tea party up there with the like holy angels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And God the Father, the Holy One of Israel and Jesus Christ and the, the like holy angels, they are rejoicing when they see the Palestinian Israel, I mean the Palestinian and Hamas and all of them fighting and bloodshed on both sides. Eh? And when Hamas Lego bombs on Israel and Jewish people get killed, the like holy angels is having a nice time and God the Father is having a nice time. Yeah, and when Israel is shot, the Israeli soldiers fly the plane and go the missile and bomb up the Palestinians and Israel, bomb up the Palestinian and Hamas camp and civilians and soldiers from Hamas get killed. God the Father and Jesus Christ and the like holy angels are rejoicing. Only thing that is not taking place? No, 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 no. That is not taking place, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. 
And if a war break out today between Palestine, between Hamas and Israel, when Israel sh- and they go bombs on Hamas and they kill Hamas soldiers, the like holy angels and God the Father will be rejoicing and say, yeah, man, let go more bomb. But when Hamas let go bomb on Israel and kill Israeli civilians and soldiers, God the Father and Jesus Christ and the like holy angels are rejoicing, telling Hamas let go more bombs on Israel. All you think that is what taking place in heaven? No, you all have it wrong. If all you think that is really taking place. <laughs> Why am I teaching you all this? I'm teaching you all to wake up to the facts, ladies and gentlemen. That is not what taking place between God the Father and Jesus Christ and the like holy angels. God the Father and Jesus Christ and the like holy angels are watching all what is taking place upon the earth from the heavenly bow up there. They are not ignorant what is taking place upon the earth. And Jesus Christ is coming back to the earth with all the like holy angels as mentioned in the four synopsis, Gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, to stop all conflict upon the earth, to bring peace to the world. Mm-hmm. So God, have abandoned mankind. That's what I'm teaching you all. But we have to wait until he come. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Personally, me, personally me. I wish Jesus Christ didn't come 25 years ago to stop all this thing that taking place on the earth. But I do my wish. I will not have that wish. I have to wait on his time and, and his time is the right time. Because God is already always on time. Mankind is wrong on time, but not God. So we understand that, right? Mankind is late on time and sometimes right on time. But God is always, always, always right on time. Because he's above time, he make time, and also he work according to time, although he's above time. So don't get tired. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world. Are you all getting something out of this what I'm teaching you all? Try to understand what I'm t- and comprehend what I'm saying. So you all have it crystal clear. And all your heart, mind and soul, of course. So when Jesus Christ returned back to the earth as kings of kings and lord of lords according to the scriptures. He's not only coming to the house of Israel, and to the house of Judah, and to the ten lowest tribes of Israel, which is the house of Israel, and to the house of Judah in Israel. He's coming to the whole of mankind, to save the whole of mankind. That included Hamas, PLO, the Arab nation, and, and Persia, Iran. He's coming to save all, all of mankind. Why is God coming to save the whole of mankind? Because he loves the whole of mankind. Because he's the one who created mankind in the first place. He's the one who brought the human family into existence. According to the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, he's the one that said he made all nations of one blood to dwell upon the earth. And he made all nations and men of one blood to dwell upon the earth. And he's the savior of mankind. Because when he died on the cross, he did not only die for the house of Israel, the ten lost tribes who went into captivity, and he did not only rejoice, die for the house of Judah, who went into Babylon for 70 years and then returned and built back the temple and set there in Israel today. He died for the whole of mankind because he's a God of all flesh, according to the scriptures. Mm-hmm. On all human beings as flesh? Well, the Bible says God is a God of all flesh. That includes animal flesh and mankind too, because it's God who created the animals before man. In the book of Genesis. So when I say God is the God of all flesh, He's the God of the animal. He created the animal and He's the God of man too. Because the animal is flesh and man is flesh. So He's the God of all flesh. That includes animals and man. Scriptures. Scriptures. Right? There's the difference is He created the animal first, He created man on the sixth day. But when He said He's the God of all flesh, that includes animal and man. Because He made man and made animal. Animals is flesh and blood, man is flesh and blood too. Mm-hmm. Only the France man is created in the image and likeness of God. Why the animals are not created in the image and likeness of God, but they are the creation of God too. Mm-hmm. Let us go according to Genesis, right? Mm-hmm. So when Jesus Christ returned back to the earth, he bring peace to all mankind. And little Jewish boys and girls. I want to tell you all now, little Jewish boys and girls in Tel Aviv, Israel. And in Palestine, wherever you all are, and wherever you all are, throughout the international communities of Jews all over the world, 
<laughs> that when Jesus Christ come back to the earth, do not be afraid, little Jewish boys and girls, and also Palestinian boys and girls who are outside the motherland of Israel, in, in, in Israel, in, in Jericho, and you all not in, in the Baca Valley, and you all are no more in, um, in the West Bank of Gaza Strip, but you all are, you all are all over the world in the international community of Palestin Palestinians. You know, you know, a lot of Palestinians migrate and they're all over the world and they give birth to children all parts of the world. Right, 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 right. So not only the Jews are all over the world, Palestinians are all over the world too. <coughs> Don't rejoice, little Palestinian boys and girls, where so where you all are here in this video, whatsoever countries that you all are, outside Palestine, but also in Palestine too. And let the Jewish boys and girls rejoice. This is good news that I'm teaching you all. But that good news comes from the word of God, the Bible. So that's why you all need to read it from Genesis to Revelation. It is called the Torah, the Jewish Torah. It is called the Septuagint, the first five books of the Bible. But now we only have five books. We have 66 books. The Old Testament and the New Testament. Read all of it. And you all understand what I'm teaching you all. Because I'm not getting it from no other book but the Holy Scriptures, the Bible. <coughs> Rejoice, Palestinian boys and girls and Jewish boys and girls, wheresoever you all are. Because when Jesus Christ, God himself, returned back to the earth with all the like holy angels with him in the future, according to the scriptures, which I believe, and we all, in the body of Christ, the saints of God, the household of faith, the church of God, the, the church of God, the church of Christ, we all believe what the scripture says, the Bible. <coughs> when Jesus Christ returned back to the earth as King of kings and Lord of lords, to establish the kingdom of God, his divine government upon this earth, and to bring peace to the world. <coughs> Rejoice, little Palestinian boys and girls, and Arab boys and girls, and Jewish boys and girls. Because Jesus Christ himself will be in Jerusalem, sitting on the throne of David, ruling the nations of the earth, over the earth with a rod of iron, mm -hmm. over mankind. So, 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 the, so, so the Palestinian boys and girls will be holding hands with the Jewish boys and girls, singing and dancing in Jerusalem. Yes. Uh, and, uh, and, the pal and the Hamas little boys and girls will be holding hands with the Jewish boys and girls singing and dancing in the city of Jerusalem. And all the little boys and girls from, ha from Hezbollah. I'm calling little boys and girls, but this means this mean big people too, eh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> little boys and girls. And the big people, which is still boys and girls. So don't, don't misunderstand me. We'll be holding hands with the Jewish people, the house of Judah, singing and dancing in Jerusalem. Now why I mention in Jerusalem? Because Jesus Christ will be in Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the future capital of the world. Because Jerusalem is the city of God. Now look at it now. Right, and when Jesus Christ come, they not come, they don't expect Jesus Christ to come down in Brazil, San Paulo, Brazil, and sitting on a throne ruling from down there. All you will not see that. I don't expect Jesus Christ to come in Trinidad, sitting on a throne ruling from Trinidad. Neither in Chicago, neither in Tanzania. But only one place you will be seeing him sitting on a throne upon this earth when he come again, in Jerusalem, because Jerusalem is a holy city. Jerusalem is a holy city, the city of peace, the city of truth. The holy city, the righteous city, the peaceful city, according to the scriptures. Jerusalem is the city of God. It is the holy city. And God chose to dwell in Jerusalem. That's why if you read all the Psalms, it said God dwelleth in Mount Zion. Mount Zion is not in Trinidad, neither in Brazil, or in Chicago, or Tanzania. Mount Zion is in Jerusalem. And God dwelleth in Jerusalem. Scriptures again.
And when Jesus Christ come there, all the nations will be gathering in, in Jerusalem to worship God and to sing and dance and play before him. Mm -hmm. Play, that is a term. But when I mean singing and dancing before God, I think I should leave out that. You think I should add it, take away that word play by? But I think I should leave it there because um, I think I'm very appropriate on that word play you now. But in any case, let, it, let us leave it there. I'll come back to that if I make a mistake and correct that in the next video. But for that, let us stick there. Yes, and all nations will be in Jerusalem. Because you know why all nations will be in Jerusalem? Because I said it in our video and I'm going to teach it to you all again. Jerusalem is for everybody. <laughs> you all do understand that. That's why you all misunderstand Palestinian boys and girls. You all want it. You all want to destroy Hamas. You all want to destroy Israel to get Jerusalem. But Jerusalem already belongs to all you. Because all you do understand it according to the Bible, you see? There's a misunderstanding all over the part. And all you do understand what the Bible, because all you read in Quran. That's why you all would kill out the Jews to get, the court, to get Jerusalem. Not knowing Jerusalem already belongs to all of you. You see? And the scriptures teach all of that. And I'm teaching it to you all. And I will prove it to you all that Jerusalem belongs to the whole of mankind. Okay? Let me, let us, let me go deeper in that. Deeper in this. In a little bit. Palestinian boys and girls and the children of Israel and, and all those in the ten law tribes of Israel and the house of Judah and all the Arab nation and Hezbollah and the state of Iran. Jerusalem belongs to all of you. I included all the nations to Trinidad and Tobago and all the South American and Latin American country and Cent Central American country and North America and the whole of Africa and all the Polynesian islands, the whole of mankind. Jerusalem belongs to everybody. How to prove that? So simple. Let us go to the book of Zechariah. When Jesus Christ is upon the earth, all nations will be coming up to the earth in Jerusalem to worship Jesus Christ. It said in the book of e it said in the book of Zechariah, and all the nations of the earth once a year will have to come up to Jerusalem to bow before Jesus Christ and to worship Jerusalem, to worship Jesus Christ in Jerusalem. And if Egypt and the other nations come not up to Jerusalem to worship Jesus Christ, he will rebuke the nations of our earth. So you see, all the nations of the earth will be leaving where there is and going one ge geographical location, Jerusalem. So you see, Jerusalem is for everybody. So Palestinian boys, stop taking stone and pelting at the Israeli soldier now. You all have been doing it in the past. Any t every Palestinian boys and girls who see this video in the West Bank of Gaza Strip, or in all the communities, the cease from pelting stone at the Israeli soldiers immediately when all you see this video. Because now you all understand Jerusalem belongs to all you. Because when, Jews, when Jesus Christ comes, you all will be making all the way in the city of Jerusalem to see Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And all the Brazilians will be going up to Jerusalem to see Jesus Christ. And all the Tanzanians will be going up to see Jesus Christ. People from Trinidad and Tobago will be going up to Jesus Christ. To Jerusalem to see Jesus Christ and all the nations of the earth will be going up to Jerusalem to see Jesus Christ. All of them will be entering the city of Jerusalem. So long as in the city of Jerusalem, Jerusalem belongs to you. You see? That's what I'm teaching you all. But the Palestinian boys and girls are ignorant of that. That's why they want to kill out all the Jews and claim Jerusalem and say Jerusalem belongs to we know. You see, it's a misunderstanding on their part. You see? But if they understand it this way, then they will no longer be taking up guns to fight the Jews to get Jerusalem when it already belongs to them. <laughs> it writes in the scriptures, 14 chapter of Zechariah, and other texts are the scriptures. Am I trying to be funny? No, I'm teaching it to you all of what the scriptures say. So Jesus Christ is coming to bring peace to the world. And to end all conflict. And the 
14 chapter of Zachariah, all nations will be going up to him to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Hosts, Jesus Christ, in Jerusalem. You see, all nations will be going up to Jerusalem. And ladies and gentlemen, before I bring to the end of this video, you know right now we have a little taste of it. And what Eric Branson is talking about, what this little Christian boy is talking about, he's saying, he see, Eric, you mean, you mean all you're saying, Eric, but Braxton, you just say, we have a little taste of it. I want, I mean, I, I wonder what Eric Braxton is getting at, telling we have a taste of Jerusalem now. The people down in Brazil want to find out. When this little Chris, when they see this video, the people in Brazil will be saying, um, who see this video on the internet? You mean we, we, you mean we in Brazil have a little taste of Jerusalem now? But we don't understand what you're talking about. What the player cracks them? Explain it to us a little further now. Oh, that is exactly what I'm going to do. That is exactly what I'm going to tell you all, ladies and gentlemen. You know, right now, all the nations of the earth have a little taste of Jerusalem right now. I will tell you all. So listen up carefully, ladies and gentlemen. The Christians in Brazil, let's leave Brazil and go up to Jerusalem in pilgrimage. Christians from all over the world is lead the country and go up to Israel in pilgrimage. You see them by the River Jordan with the opening meeting, singing and praising. Mm -hmm. You see them Christians from Germany and from Botswana, Christians from, Jer from Trinidad and Barbados and Jamaica and Haiti up in Jerusalem. You see them Christians from North America and Central America and Latin and, and Central America. You see them Christians from Russia, from Germany, from Brazil from Europe and the Polynesian Islands mm -hmm. and even Christians from the Arab nations in Jerusalem all along by the a lot of them down by the Wailing Wall a lot of them down by Jericho a lot of them in Tel Aviv Israel looking at the historical sites yeah all of them believe in Jesus Christ they have the Bible but they're in pilgrimage and when the pilgrimage have to go back to a different country so all of them have a little taste of Jerusalem now Mm -hmm. And look, Jesus Christ is not on the earth. And you see, they're making their way in Jerusalem. So when Jesus Christ come, you see, according to the 14th chapter of Zechariah, it will be a bigger taste. All the nations coming up to Jerusalem to worship Jesus Christ in Jerusalem. Don't believe it. Don't accept what I say. Read it for yourself in the 14th chapter of Zechariah. That's why I tell all you, Jerusalem is for everybody. Mm hmm yeah, Jerusalem is for everybody. Now they understand it now? Jerusalem is for everybody. Mm -hmm. Because Jerusalem is the future capital of the world. And Jesus Christ will be in Jerusalem reigning upon the throne of David. And not down in San Paulo sitting on a throne reigning. And neither in Chicago or neither in Washington sitting on a throne ruling. You'll have to go up to Jerusalem to see Jesus Christ himself. Mm -hmm. That don't mean to say that Jesus Christ ran with that click of your finger, disappear and go down to Brazil and see the people. Of course Jesus Christ could do that. He is God. He could have click of your finger. He travel faster, a trillion faster than a trillion miles a second than in Brazil already. And see the people and go back to Jerusalem. Jesus Christ is God. He could go any part of the world he want in that form. But will he be operating in that sense when he come on the earth? Of course he could choose to do it. He choose not to do it. But the point is the Bible says he will be in Jerusalem. And the nations will be going up there to see him. That's a stick with the Bible. That point. But he could, he could move in that way as I tell all to move. Right, okay. <coughs> the sun appearing in one place and appearing in all the countries faster than the speed of light. Traveling at a, traveling at a trillion, more than a trillion miles per second. Because he's God. Okay. That's just an example to teach all you could do that too. Okay. You got to take no plane now. Right. A boat. All right, and let me teach all you something. Let me teach all you something. When all you reading the scripture with Jesus Christ with disciples in the boat, uh, and traveling from one place in the boat to our next place, that like when he was in human form, he operated in that way. Mm -hmm. But the disciples had to use the boat to, to, to travel from one place to the other place. Huh? Because they can't travel faster at the speed of light. But even self when Jesus Christ was in the earth in human form. Mm -hmm. You only think he could disappear and reach our next place? 
at a, more than a trillion miles a second, he could do that because he was God in human form and he could have do that. But he chose not to operate in that way. So keep that in mind also. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or I believe he could, when he was only in human form, he could only travel in the form of man or riding a donkey going from one place to the next and travel. No, he chose to operate in that way, but he didn't, he didn't have to do that at all times. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ in one location he could have trans he could have transmit himself faster than the speed of light more than a trillion miles a second in the next place yeah but he chose not to operate that way so so don't misunderstand that right I know that that's why I'm teaching you all of that but I'm not all you don't understand that uh -huh. but all you want to put limits on Jesus Christ God and God, I want no person put limits on him. You see how we punish the children of Israel in the wilderness? Who limit him? And said, can he provide flesh for us in the wilderness? Mm -hmm. God, yeah, exactly what he tell you. Punish the children of Israel. Yeah, because they limit the Holy One of Israel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When God is all-powerful, how you can limit a God who is all-powerful? Mm -hmm. God, punish them for that, the children of Israel. Teach them a lesson for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And spite to teach them that and punish them, they still want to show more rebellions against re more rebellions against him in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. mm. Let me continue, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, so Jerusalem is for everybody, my Arab brothers and sisters, in the Arab world, in the Arab League, in the leadership of Hamas, in the leadership of the PLO. In the leadership of the Jewish people, in the leadership of Hamas and Hezbollah, and in all the leader, rest of leaderships of the nations of the earth, governments of the earth, Jerusalem is for everybody. <laughs> yes, but let me end the video by teaching you all Palestinian boys and girls and in Hamas and Hezbollah and in PLO, and among the Jewish people also, and the rest of the nations of the earth. <laughs> when Jesus in Jerusalem, the, the, the children of Palestinians will be there, the Arab people will be there, the, 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 the state of Iran will be there, Persia. <coughs> and Hezbollah will be there. And when all these nations, people come in Jerusalem and stand before Jesus Christ, will Jesus Christ tell them to continue the fighting? No. Because all of them will be united together. <laughs> united together. Mm -hmm. And no more fighting and no more war. That will be a thing of the past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus Christ is coming to make this world a world of peace, a peaceful place, because he's a God of peace, mm -hmm. and that's why he's coming to stop all the conflict in Israel, mm -hmm. the Jews of the self can stop that, bring that to an end, neither Hamas could bring that to an end, neither Hezbollah could bring the fight into an end, who is the one to bring it, uh -huh. who is the one to bring all the conflict, that's not only taking place in Israel, amongst the Arab and Hezbollah and PLO, and Hamas and the state of Israel and the state of Iran who is the one to bring all the conflict upon this guy and it's so simple the one who created mankind God himself he's the one coming to bring it to an end mm -hmm. that was teaching all of that what the scriptures teach mm -hmm. the big man himself but like that a term God God himself is coming to bring it to an end mm-hmm to make this world a better place. Mankind can make this world a better place. Not even the Jews can make this world a better place. Not even Hamas can make this world a better place. Neither the Hezbollah can make this world a better place. Neither the state of Iran can make this better place. This world a better place. Who is this one? Who is the one to make this world a better place, ladies and gentlemen? Let me hear it from you all boys and girls. One, two, three. The one who create mankind and bring mankind into his existence. That's the one to, to make this world a better place. God himself.
And that is exactly what you come in to do. <laughs> to end all conflict upon this earth. Mm -hmm. So that all mankind will live in peace and love with one another. That's what Jesus Christ has come in to do. And that is my message to the leadership of Iran, to the state of Iran, to the Hayatollah, the supreme leader, and his executive and the president of Iran. This is my message to the leadership of PLO, Hamas, and his executive, and the people in, the, in Jericho, the, head of, the headquarters of PLO, Palestinian Liberation Organization. And this is my message to all the executive and the leadership of the Arab League. And this is my message to all the kings and all the leaders in all the other Arab countries. And this is my message to the Prime Minister and all the people of the, in the coalition government of the current leadership right now in Israel, headed by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu mm -hmm. and all the nations of the earth all the Prime Ministers and Presidents of the Earth. This is my message to the whole of mankind, to the children of men. God himself is coming <laughs> to be called Crooked Path Street upon this earth. Well, do believe that? Well, this is the teaching of the scriptures. This is the teaching of the scriptures, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going with the scriptures there. I'm just explaining to you all what the scriptures say. Because at the end of the day, I could assure you all, a full hundred percent, that Adam and Eve, which is mankind, didn't bring themselves into existence. You see, the one who created mankind, he's the one who is coming to be called Crooked Path Street, God himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's the one who came in to bring peace to this world mm -hmm. on the behalf of mankind. Mm -hmm. He's the one who came in to destroy all the weapons that mankind is using to fight and kill one another. He come in to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's the one who is coming mm -hmm. to save mankind. Before mankind use all the nuclear weapon and erase mankind off of the earth. Jesus Christ himself, God, is coming back to the earth to do that. And to save mankind. Because he's the one who created mankind. Mm -hmm. You see, you see I point into any moon or stars coming to save mankind when he's the first that God that creates the moon and stars. Oh, he come in to save mankind, Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. You see, I pointed to the Archangel Gabriel. The Archangel Gabriel can save mankind. Because he didn't create mankind. Oh, you see, I pointed to the, to the Archangel Gabriel. Gabriel can save mankind because he didn't create mankind. Uh -huh. Who are pointed to? I pointed to God the Father and Jesus Christ. Because when I talk about Jesus Christ, I'm talking about the Father. When I talk about the Father, I'm talking about Jesus Christ, because both of them is one, no? mm -hmm. according to the scriptures. So understand that. <coughs> understand that. Yes. Understand that, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Understand that, ladies and gentlemen. So, according to the late Herbert W. Armstrong, and I'm repeating it from him, there's a bright fruit here for the head of mankind in the fruit here. Mankind, there's a bright fruit here ahead of all of, ahead of all of us in the fruit here. The children of men, the human family, there's a bright fruit here for us in the, for all, for us in the fruit here. And that bright fruit here, God Himself is bringing it about for us. Mm -hmm. We all mankind will live in peace and love with one another, but we of ourselves can bring it about. That cannot bring it about. We are, we are trying to do that on the own without the help of God, but we are only feeling miserably on the part. Mankind on their own is trying to bring about a bright fruit here for the whole of man for the whole of new humanity like the self of their own strength and power. And they cannot do that. And they're failing to recognize they can't do it. But they think they could do it. But we only feeling miserably in the in the process. The only one to bring about that for us is God Himself. Mm -hmm. According to Robert W. Armstrong, yeah, yeah, going along with that, because is it true? Mm -hmm. You see here at the United Nations, look how much leaders fight through the United Nations to bring peace to the earth. Mm -hmm. They had a little success here, a little success there, but the major thing they're trying to achieve, they continue to fail. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Zoals ik die, die eind in die shank heb brengen, bouw voor kies. Je dat dan stop al 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 arm conflict already. And there are no wars on the earth. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest that's the biggest job. How they achieve that? No, all is failing and that. But they have a little success here. The United Nations have a little success there. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the main thing all is failing. Because they cannot achieve it. They were trying to teach you all you. We need God Himself to do that. Because He made mankind. And He had the power to do it. Ah, that's the difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. He had the power to do it. I know what he come in to do. To bring peace to this world because he's a God of peace. Mm -hmm. And this is my message to the whole of mankind, ladies and gentlemen, including myself. Because I'm also mankind too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only thing I exempt myself out of that. I'm, I'm, I'm that boat too. The boat are mankind. <laughs> yeah. So I hope you all understand the message in this video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all understand it. <coughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we have already reached a full hour in this video. And I'm glad that we reached a full hour mark in this video. It is good that I reach a full hour mark in these videos sometimes. So that giving so that I record in a half an hour, 15 minutes video. A full hour man, a full hour is welcome now and then. <coughs> yes, 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 yes. And in this time that full hour is very is needed. As I explain these things to you all and talk to you all about these things. So you all can read the Bible for all yourself and see it for all yourself. That what I'm telling you all is not hogwash. But it's the facts I'm giving you all, and you all will see it in the Bible for all yourself. Yes. Yes, all you'll see it in yourself, for all yourself, and all you read the Bible. Yes, all you will see it for all yourself. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's God Himself that come to save mankind. Mm -hmm. When Jesus Christ came, left heaven and came and down the cross of mankind. Mm -hmm. When he was only great mankind, and he left heaven and came and died for mankind. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ didn't die for mankind in heaven. Oh my God, I didn't hear what the person said. I said Jesus Christ was the one who created mankind, Adam and Eve, and the universe and all things therein. He didn't die for mankind in heaven in a cross. He left heaven and came through Mary as a little child. Became a big man and he died upon the earth. Where he died on the cross of Calvary in Jerusalem. But he left heaven and come on the earth. He doing the same thing again. Leaving heaven, coming down here to save mankind again. In the future, the second coming of Christ. That was the first coming the, as the dying Messiah. This time he coming as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Mm -hmm. Coming a second time. He leaving heaven again. He leave the first time. He come down on the earth, he say, I send mm -hmm. And he leave in heaven a second time and come down on the earth to save mankind again. To save mankind. He coming up on, he coming in Jerusalem. Yeah, he coming up on this earth. You see, you see, you see Jesus Christ, you see God himself coming back to the earth? Mm -hmm. To do what? To do what? You might hear all you to save mankind. Oh, that what he coming to do. That's exactly what he coming to do. <laughs> if, all, if some people believe Jesus Christ is leaving heaven and coming on the earth, and with the like all the angels of him, of course, and when he come in Jerusalem, he's sitting on the throne of David and telling the nation, let the fight continue. In that context, let the nation continue fighting and let bloodshed continue. Yeah, and all the chaos in the world continue. And he'll be sitting on the throne in Israel with the like all the angels around him enjoying it. All the chaos and he will enjoy it. I didn't come down here to stop no war and fighting. Let that continue, man. Hamas, you want to fight with Israel? All the fight. Huh? Israel, all you want to fight with Hamas? Fight. PLO, Hezbollah, all you want to fight with this? Continue the fight. Continue to throw the bombs now. Hey, the Israeli soldiers throw the bombs on Hamas. 
I and the little holy angel say, and we are watching all and enjoying the fight. Well, you carry on. <coughs> carry on the chaos. <coughs> Michael, the archangel, this is example, analogy, teaching all your principle. Michael, the archangel, you stay here. Don't go nowhere. Gabriel, the archangel, you stay here. Don't go nowhere. And all the rest of the little holy angels, you all just didn't come here to stop no fight. Just to observe you all as spectators. Carry on the fight. Carry on the, the fight. Yeah, that's what Jesus Christ came in to do, and to tell all the, the jug lords in San Paulo, and in Colombia, and in Mexico, continue pushing the cocaine, and shipping the cocaine, and destroy people all over the world. Continue all the billion dollars, cocaine trafficking. I didn't come down here to stop all you. Yeah? I come down here to observe what all you're doing, and get kicks off of it. And then like all the angels. They come with me to get kicks of what all you're doing. I, in spite of his God, you know, I have the power to stop it, but I didn't come to do that. I come to sit up on the throne of David, man, in Jerusalem, and watch all the chaos that is taking place. In spite of the power to do it, I'm not coming to stop nothing. All the carry on the show. I will be watching it. And then like holy angels, I will be watching it. <laughs> all the thing that was Jesus Christ and then like holy angels, it's coming down to tell mankind. Well, to all my human brothers and sisters out there, any part of the world, if you all think that what Jesus Christ and the like holy angels is coming to tell mankind, you all have it wrong. You all have it wrong. You all have it total wrong. All the chaos, he coming to put a stop on it. And not to tell them to carry on it. And not to tell them to continue to indulge in it. And not to tell them to continue, let the show continue. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That show, that show with the civil war taking place, that show with all the cocaine jug lord pushing the jugs and cocaine all over the world, was for that show to continue. That show will stop when he comes. <laughs> And all the children who be in trafficking, check trafficking, yeah, for the for let that show to continue. No, when he come, that show will stop. No more child trafficking, no more human trafficking. He coming to bring all that lion. That's what I tell all. He coming to make all what crooked part straight. Uh -huh. That's what Jesus Christ, God Himself, coming down here to do. Uh huh. Well, now we get the message, right? Continue getting that message crystal clear across the board, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Continue getting it crystal clear. <coughs> because that is exactly what he's coming to do. You will not believe that. <coughs> and I know all the atheists. Who will see this video in the atheist community? You'll see here this mad man go again, this Eric Brax and a so-called charlatan in the Caribbean talking about some Jesus Christ who is God according to what he believes in the Bible according to them is Nancy's story. Here he here what they'll say Eric Braxton is quoting that Nancy story from that from that book, um, a book of mythology as a term in the Bible. He say he believes in some Jesus Christ that is God according to what the Bible teaches and the Christians except is coming to stop all wars. Mm -hmm. To all you all atheists who will call me a madman and a charlatan or a false teacher and say that what I am quoting is mythology and I'm just speaking on the top of my head and I'm a so-called nutcase or widow and I do not know why I say it. I Eric and is pointing my hand to all of you all and telling you all, all of you all are dead wrong. Mm -hmm. Because what the scriptures are saying exactly will happen. And Jesus Christ is coming, and he's going to stop all what is taking place in the world, to make this world a better world for mankind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so all my brothers and sisters in the atheist community, mm -hmm. all you believe this is fantasy I'm teaching all you in this video? Well, you all, and you all, well, you all can reject it. No, I want you all to accept it, but I know a lot of you all will reject it. You always be rejecting the truth. 
But at the end of the day, you will look, we're not able to change reality or what I'm speaking about and what the Bible is speaking about and what I'm quoting from the Bible. Mm -hmm. What Jesus Christ is coming to do in the future. None of you will be able to stop it or to stop Jesus Christ in his tracks. As a matter of fact, no man will be able to stop Jesus Christ and then let holy angels in the track coming back on this earth. Mm -hmm. Like you all in here what I said. I said no man will be able to stop Jesus Christ and the let holy angels in the tracks coming back to this earth. Mm -hmm. Because none of you is bigger than them. I can assure you all that. <laughs> no human being is bigger than them. God the Father and Jesus Christ. And the let holy angels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Time only learn that message. None of you is bigger than them. Alright. <coughs> I saw this talk. I'm not done talking to all you. I'm talking to all you. Telling all the facts how it is. For you all to check it out for all yourself and read it in the scriptures. I blow the dust off the Bible and began reading it from Genesis to Revelation. So you all understand all the prophecies that are to come to pass. And how Jesus Christ is coming back to save mankind. It is written in the whole scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. Especially in the book of Revelation. With all the uh, prophecies that took place. Before Jesus Christ come back. We did follow self in the scriptures. Yeah. You think I'm sending all you. The Bible is sending all you to read that for all yourself. The original King James Bible. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeking followers. I don't want I don't want man to follow me. I pointing you all to Jesus Christ and his words, the holy scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. Mm -hmm. That's what I do in all my videos. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not a seek I'm not seeking apostles. I point men to Jesus Christ, not to myself, because I can't save myself. I need I myself need to be saved. Uh -huh. <laughs> <coughs> oh yes ladies and gentlemen well we have reached a full hour so ladies and gentlemen without further ado this will be the conclusion of this video as i i will title this video after the the leadership of ham hezbollah the leadership of the prime minister benjamin atonana so I'll put the Prime Minister name, Israel. I will put the leader, the leader of Hezbollah. And let me let me go and check up and see if I get the name of the leader of the current PLO, Palestinian Liberation Organization. I think his name is Hamas, but I want to get his, his name. So I'll title the, 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 the full tree name. I think I will put Benjamin Natanana first as the Prime Minister of Israel, right? The leader of Hezbollah and then the leader of PLO. I think if I end up finding the leader, the current leader, not the past leaders, because yeah. the current leader of Hamas, I will entitle his name of, after the video too. Yeah. Yes. So let me check on that and organize that one time. So thank you all ladies and gentlemen for hearing me out under the sound of my voice and what I'm teaching you all from time to time in these videos. In no other name, but in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friends.